Viruses are pathogens that cause many diseases, including the common cold and influenza or the flu. For viruses to reproduce, they must use a host cell. This makes you sick because viruses drastically disrupt homeostasis and often damage and destroy host cells as they reproduce. HIV is an example of a virus that causes a serious disease by destroying cells as it replicates itself. HIV attacks helper T cells. Helper T cells are a very important part of your immune system. If these T cells are destroyed, the immune system will not function properly, giving the patient an acquired immune deficiency syndrome, or AIDS. When the immune system can no longer fight infections correctly, the patient will be very susceptible to secondary infections. This means that when the person's immune system stops working, when they get the flu, or pneumonia, or a staph infection, or any other infection, their body will not be able to fight it normally, and this could lead to even more serious complications, including death. Antiviral drugs are designed to fight specific viral infections. They might prevent viruses from attaching to cells or disrupt part of the viral life cycle. Antiviral drugs are hard to create, and they've only been developed for a few diseases like HIV and the flu. It's important that you understand that while there are antiviral drugs, antibiotics kill bacteria, but they do not kill viruses. Antibiotics attack bacterial cells, and viruses are not made of cells. Using antibiotics to treat viral infections can actually help create antibiotic-resistant bacteria, which would no longer be killed by the antibiotics if they cause an infection. The best way to prevent viral infections is by getting vaccinated. Vaccines expose patients to small parts of a pathogen or to pathogens that have been incapacitated, meaning they no longer function correctly. Viruses are a form of pathogen and they will cause infections. When you get a vaccine, your body thinks it is being infected. So you may feel sick for a brief period of time, but the virus is harmless and the antibodies your body makes will make you immune to that disease.